If you have ever walked along the beach with flowing in your hair, maybe the sunset in the background, and reach down to pick up a shell or even a sea star, you have interacted with the intertidal zone. Hi, my name is Richard Alexis Pridagami from Grade 5 Einstein, and today I'll discuss to you about the threats of new activities on intertidal zone. Before that, let us know what is intertidal zone. It is the area of the oceans between the high tide and the low tides, usually on the beach at the water's edge. The intertidal zone is also known as seashore, foreshore, and the littoral zone. The common life forms found in the intertidal zones are sea stars, crabs, mussels, barnacles, and various corals. Now, how do humans negatively affect the intertidal zone? The biggest drawbacks of human interference are trampling organisms, collecting samples, and pollution. Several organisms living in the tide pools of the intertidal areas are crushed by unaware humans. Crabs, starfish, and snails are collected as souvenirs. Their chances of survival outside the intertidal zone are very small, but the damage caused to the ecosystem is irreversible. Coastal pollution poses a threat to intertidal zone. The types of coastal pollution include discarded trash, oil spills, sewage spills, and toxic chemical runoff all of which can negatively impact the intertidal marine life. We need to protect and conserve this marine environment. We should learn to conserve. Follow disposal directions. Minimize use of chemicals. And don't be wasteful. Always remember the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle.